class Monday morning at 8 o'clock. I reported to the jail. And this thing has turned into a real nightmare. And I just want y'all to know that the welfare, they think they're so, they think they're so bad and so powerful. Well, I just want to know God is more powerful. It's an insult to God's work and God's people that support these homes to accuse us of doing irreparable damage to children when we make no charge and have done nothing but love them and lift them and teach them to sing the praises of God. Girls, do you love Jesus? Oh, yes, we love Jesus. Are you sure, Jesus? Yes, we sure we love Jesus. Hey, tell me why you love Jesus. This is why. to have Leanne and this graduation was greatly disturbed the night they came. A great statesman once My said girl. that you can judge a nation by the kind of heroes it produces. Lester Roloff is such a man. He came from humble beginnings, born and raised on a farm south of Dawson, Texas. In 1933, he took his milk cow and went to Baylor University in Waco, Texas. After pastoring a number of Baptist churches in Texas, he went into evangelism and began working with people in trouble. It is an unusual person indeed who sacrifices all for a life of caring for others, but the Lord had given him a burden for people, alcoholics, narcotic addicts, juvenile delinquents, anyone in trouble. He built homes for men and women and boys and girls in trouble. The lighthouse, the anchor, the city of refuge, the Rebecca home. Disaster struck many times. Men with less faith would have given up in the face of such overwhelming odds. The voice of Brother Roloff is heard nationwide on the Family Altar radio broadcast, which he began more than 30 years ago. When Lester Roloff began building homes for the down and out over a quarter century ago, the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare was just a small, insignificant bureau in Washington. Now it has grown into a monster that holds neither God nor the Bill of Rights in high regard. In 1973, the Welfare Department closed down his home for girls in Corpus Christi because he had no license. It was reopened, but Brother Roloff is still fighting for his rights. It is the intention of this film to show the ministry that Lester Roloff directs, reveal the nightmarish persecution he has endured, and to show that unless America wakes up soon, it will be freedom's last call. Father, we thank you today, Lord, for just uh, the many blessings, Lord, that's been ours. We thank you for the opportunity to be here. We ask, thank you, Lord, for the service that we was in this morning. Lord, we just pray now that you'll bless this food, bless each one that's here, bless the hands that prepared it, go with us, guide us throughout this day, and we'll praise you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we believe that the best act for the girls is uh, just good, wholesome food. And we like to, when we have, uh, when we plan a meal and a menu, we try to plan it around the calories and the right, uh, the things that, that's, you know, efficient for the body to make it uh, function properly. And these girls have mostly, they come in, they have been on just a meager diet. 
They, some of them have eaten just anything they can get their hands on for days. And we bring them in here, and our food that we have is uh, uh, fresh grown food. Our vegetables are grown here on the farm, and we don't season highly with uh, any kind of grease. Uh, what we season with is mostly margarine or butter, and uh, we have very uh, little fried foods. We uh, bake, well, as you see today, we have baked turkey. When we have chicken, we serve mostly baked chicken. Occasionally we fry it for the girls, but mostly it's baked. It takes 100 gallons um, of honey a month for all of our homes. The girls will eat five gallons every three days. And uh, this is some we took off. We've taken off about 600 gallons. Of course, our onions uh, and uh, potatoes and uh, tomatoes, um, I tell you, it's wonderful what and the, uh, uh, the strain honey here we've just gotten out of the valley and we we move our bees about uh, three times a year bee and this of course is my honeybee right here huh <laughs> this is my little granddaughter and of course this is Ms. Roloff here and she's down here a week she came down you know I had to go to jail didn't I I'll tell you, but you came down and got me out didn't you I'll guarantee you, boy. <laughs> we really got out of that jail in a hurry when you come down there. If you'd come down a little quicker, I believe, Debbie, I'd have got out of there quicker. But you and Nana, and she called her Nana, didn't she? If you'd come down and earlier, you'd got me out. You let me stay in there too long. You know it. I really did, but I'm glad I'm out now. But anyhow, say, this is something, honey, that I got last night for my birthday. Now the just shall live by faith. That's our theme, you know, for our life. And uh, found over in the book of uh, Habakkuk and um, Galatians and uh, Romans and then Hebrews 10:38, and some dear lady fixed that far, so I thought it was real nice. But we enjoy uh, eating off of the farm. We enjoy, uh, and this is part of the Rebecca home, part of all of our homes. We have, of course, six homes. But uh, tomorrow I'll be going over to Caloden, Georgia, and they'll have produce over there. And we'll stop back by Hattiesburg, Mississippi, in the afternoon, and they'll have a lot of watermelons and produce over there. So. It's real interesting, but the main thing is, uh, we're growing boys and girls. Make sure you get it straight now. Make sure you focus correct. When the girls come here, they usually haven't had proper training in the things that help young girls in their future lives as a wife, a mother, a lady. At the Rebecca home, the girls learn these things and skills that will help them find jobs when they leave here. We believe that the Bible tells us uh, that uh, without discipline, a child cannot learn without a disciplined classroom. And then also our school is biblically based all of our subjects are taught with the idea that God has a plan for every person and, and whether it's uh, English or history or social studies or science, since God is the God of all, then it's all based on the foundation of the Bible. Our school is an ACE school, Accelerated Christian Education, whose headquarters is in Dallas, Texas. And of course, this puts the child on their own learning level. Most of our children who come from public schools uh, cannot read on their own level, and so we must provide remedial reading. Their math also is very weak. In fact, a uh, recent article in the U.S. News and World Report referred to the fact that uh, the new English and the new math had failed, and now they must, of course, go back and uh, remedy that. So that means that almost uh, a generation of young people were crippled because of an experiment in the public school system. We have, um, of course, boys and girls that come here. All of them are in trouble. We don't um, have anybody that ever comes to the point in trouble. We call them terminal cases. Everything else has already failed, and um, they come as the last resort. I've heard on this telephone right here, and this, I answer that phone, uh, I'm the only one that answers it because so many people call direct. Ms. Roloff has her phone upstairs, but they called me and they said, this is urgent. I said, the last one was too. This is an emergency. I said, well, the last one was too. Nearly all of them are because boys and girls, boys and girls 
are in trouble all over the country. But I want to say to all the friends that send their children, and you can call us any time, day or night. There are times when I have to leave the telephone on the floor in order to go to sleep at night or get some rest, usually 11 or 12 o'clock until about 4 or 5 in the morning. But I praise the Lord for the privilege of operating these homes. It was some more scripture. Girls, step up and sing uh, Psalm 19. Will you do that? This is one of our favorite chapters, and this is where I stand. The law of the Lord is perfect. That's the reason I'm going to stay with it. You say, what's that? The Word of God. The law of the Lord, that's what we go by. Statutes, man-made, unscriptural, uncon they don't mean anything to me. The law of the Lord is the law that we go by. Psalm 19. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, 